Hey everybody, welcome to the stream. Hope you guys are having a great day today. Uh, oh, this button. Max decided he's just gonna not jump up on my lap and just immediately go for the desk right next to me. This guy, I know you can't see him at all, but he is sitting on the desk like he shouldn't be. Come here. Come here, you fluffy guy. What am I getting? Anybody want to use cat? I can, I'll sell you a used cat for cheap. Slightly used. Green screen slightly messed up. The camera got turned. I'll, I'll turn it as soon as I'm not holding the fluffy monster cat in my arms. Rub it like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> So hello everybody, hello Trad, Bola, Rosa, Nighthawk, Robbie, Yen, Jaron, Gotap, uh, Chuvin, hello CS Dave, Fault Bat, welcome, Matza, hello. Oh my goodness, what a fluffy kitty you are. He's just sitting there like, he doesn't even care, he's just relaxed. Hello, Hedgemont. You just in time for the Pet the Cat Infinity Pervolve? Yes. Super fluffy. What are you doing? Don't do that. No. Ma Max? No. <laughs> Bad kitty. Bad kitty. All right, I'm going to put you down. Over there. Uh... Louis, was that supposed to be in a resub message? <laughs> Don't know what's going on on Twitch, but a couple days ago you couldn't get the glories 1080p 60. Your streams are usually at, but hey, it's fixed today, so you can't complain. Yeah, I don't know what happened with that. I I've heard that before, but like people are other people are saying that they had it, so I don't know. Uh, Ozodio resub for two months. Thank you, Ozodio, for the two months, dude. Appreciate you. And JFK 2K5 with a two month resub. I guess a four month resub dropping a prime. Thank you, JFK. Appreciate you. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and jump into the game. So I was looking at my games, the upcoming games list that I have posted on subscriber discord for what we're going to play here on stream. And tomorrow we have scheduled playing well, that's fun. Ticking memory connection. I think we've seen that crash before when we try and launch the game. Uh, tomorrow we had scheduled Ori in the Blind Forest because Ori and the Will of the Wisp was supposed to be coming out next week on next Tuesday, but apparently that's been pushed back or maybe I wrote down wrong, but I went to Steam and I looked and now it says it's coming out on March 11th, so it's another another month from now. Yeah, camera, I'll fix it. Ugh. Is that better? That should be better. So anyway, we're not playing that for a little while. Actually, I think that's turned a little too much now. Ugh. I can't tell. Is that good? I think that's fine. So yeah, uh, Ori and the Will of the Wisp is coming out on March 11th, so I th whatever a week before that comes out, we'll be playing Ori and the Blind Forest again. Um, so for the rest of this month, I don't think we're going to be playing anything else. There's nothing that's going to be getting in our way of continuing this pack. 
Unless I just decide spontaneously I want to play something else. There is a schedule? Question mark? Yes. Under the live stream section of the subscriber Discord, Captain Mush. Doom Eternal is going to be coming out... Uh, around that same time, I think. Let me take a look. I have that date. Yeah, Doom Eternal comes out March 20th. Uh, so the way the schedule is for March, on the 2nd, we're going to be playing Will of the Wisps. That'll be our, or I'm sorry, Blind Forest. That'll be our second playthrough. And then on the 11th, Will of the Wisps comes out. So we'll be playing that on the 16th. Is when I had scheduled Doom, a replay through of Doom 2016. And on the 20th, Doom Eternal comes out. So somewhere in there, we might be moving some of those days around. But yeah, March is going to be a month where we're playing some other games for a little while anyway. Uh, according to my list here, Final Fantasy VII Remake comes out April 10th. We will be playing that on stream. Hopefully this thing doesn't crash again. Louie just resubbed for nine months. Louie, thank you for the resub. It's finally here. Our Twitch baby has arrived and I would like to introduce you to Hypno Jr. Born six pounds, two ounces at the prime old age of 62. But in all seriousness, can't believe it's been nine months already. Keep up the good work. Thanks, dude, for the resub for the nine months of support. Appreciate you. Rolls says, Hypno, I started watching the Skyblock version of your playthrough. Very entertaining. Glad you like it, dude. Um, Hello, Jertus. Yeah, so next month we're going to be playing a few different games. We'll probably be squeezing in some Minecraft on the days where we're not playing the few other games. Do, 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 do. I put this hole here to trigger people so there'd be a hole in the ceiling. Now it's triggering me, so I'm fixing it. <laughs> I think I'll just leave that. I ended up triggering myself. Oh, that's right. All of the uranium stuff, fuel rod, ends up in our applied energistic system now. I was about to go downstairs to go see how we're doing on that, but I am pretty sure we are good. Uh, everything in our quarry should be going into our applied energistic system as well, if I'm not mistaken. That was to trigger you? <laughs> well, I ended up triggering myself, so I got myself back. How are we doing on this? That's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good, I'd say. Uh, let's take a look down here. That's a big old thing of lava. Let's get this sorted real quick. Oop. There we go, that lava should go away now and hopefully clean up a bit of this mess. I mean, we got lava leak there, not much we can do about that. Looks like we had already explored this as well. It triggers you that there isn't a hole? Well, I'm glad you're triggered. My job here is complete. Those lighting glitches though. In there. Get rid of this bit of lava. All right. I'm going to try and get those sorted as well, real quick. Uh, yellow, right? Or that should work just fine. Just need something to fill in those holes and get rid of that so we're not making like a huge mess down here. 
And that's perfect. Probably could have gotten some dirt or something and not used the yellow raid, but it's fine. Uh, Super Eps coming in with a four month resub. Welcome back, dude. Back to subage mode. Nice, dude. Thank you for the four months. You forget Ender Cory or regular Cory that did this. I mean, we're using an Ender Cory, if that's what you're asking, but we have a world hole upgrade on it, so we are purposely digging out the ground. By default, the Ender Cory just turns everything to dirt, but when you're in a dimension where everything already is dirt on the surface, like it'd be impossible to tell where we mined. So I elected to do a world hole upgrade just to make it pretty obvious that what's been mined. All right. So we gotta figure out what our next goal in the game is right now. I feel like that music was just a little too loud. I'm not sure if I turned it down or not, but I think I did. I think it was a little too loud there. What? I can't hear the streamer over the music. No, no, music was fine. How about I turn myself down and turn the music up? So what is our next goal? Hmm, should we take a look at the quest book maybe? Oh, you know what? We were gonna start automating these machines. I think that was our next goal. Yeah, let's not look at the quest book. We were gonna dig out an area and start putting in machines so we can start doing some auto crafting. I think it's gonna be right here. Mm-hmm. Uh, hearing more music or hearing more hypno, you pick music. Wow. I didn't think I was gonna have to ban you today, but now you're banned. Dang guy. Hello, SD. Wait, this stream has music? Uh, Mob Farmer, thankfully there isn't a voting process for that. Uh, Door Lord, it is not evening here. It is early afternoon, it's 2 p.m. You can do exclamation time in chat to get the current local time. Uh, what am I doing? I, I said exclamation, so I started typing exclamation. Uh, we want quarried stone. No, it's not a democracy here. I decide what happens in my live stream. And if you got a problem with it, you can get out of here. I'm not sure how far back I want to dig this. I guess right there, though. Ooh. I think that seems reasonable. We can put machines over here, whatever. Uh, I don't. Maybe we'll make this room a little bit bigger than the hallway that I was originally gonna do. We might do that. How far back did I go over here? One, two, three, four blocks. 
One, two, three, four. All right, so we are the same distance. Uh, True Freak, thank you for the bits, dude. Max, we already said hello. What you doing? You want to come up and say hello again? Are you that needy today? Oh, yeah. He, he's looking... No? No, he's just going to rub my legs back and forth again. Can never tell with that cat what he wants. He'll act like he wants all sorts of attention, and then he'll be like, mm, didn't really want it. Made you look. Mm, mm, mm. Hi. You want to jump up here? What do you want? I, I don't know. I don't know what he wants. He's jumping up on my thigh and like rubbing his head on the armrest. There he is. You're not supposed to get up there. You know this. And you know this, man. He wants a tuna sandwich, obviously. What do you want, Mr. Kitty? He just wants all sorts of attention. That's what he wants. He just wants all sorts of attention. <laughs> There's that fluffy tail. Hey, why don't you just learn English and tell me what you want, huh? That'd be great. Is his eyes blue? They are. They are very blue. Here, I'll give you a close-up. <laughs> See if I can get him closer. Max deserves all the treats and pets. Well, I give him treats when he deserves it. But he gets pets all the time. He's a needy kitty. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> we're done until five minutes later when you're back and you want more attention. Okay. This needs to come out one more. Okay, so we walk in here and then, yeah, we can have the machines back that. Okay, I like it. I like it. That feels like the right amount of distance. Let me grab this. That is not what I want to do. No wand dupes for this wand. Any news about Project Dozen 3 Kappa for plebs? Yes, the news is it's not released yet.
regular pick. I was trying to do pick block and that did not work. Um. Okay, so now we gotta figure out how we're gonna put the machines on what. I guess we could use the same quarried stone along the bottom and set them on there and set them in back or... Mm, we could just implant them in the wall similar to this. We might do that actually. I doing it that way this that 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 then I think it's something like this maybe probably gonna want to give us a five tall ceiling in here so let's get that expanded out so that that's four five I like it. So something like that. Had just enough of that apparently. Oh no, I got extras. All right, let's pop these out. Something like that. Obviously, we'll have to do these walls. Also. Shut up, sheep. Nobody asked you. Well, dang it, now I screwed it all up. Okay, okay. I like it so far. Maybe we'll bring this out a little bit. I mean, it's a thing anyway. It's definitely a thing. Am I still planning on doing Witcher 3 again before Cyberpunk 7777777? Uh, maybe. 
Yes, I am still planning on it. I never really care to see cables for machines unless there's no real way to hide them. I prefer making the machines look as clean as possible. Um... EU machines on this side and RF machines on that side. All right. I think at this point it might make sense before we do anything else to make two more tesseracts, one for either side. I think that's probably going to make the most sense for right now. So that means we need stuff here. So we need 16 iron plates. Which we have. We don't have any iron chipsets? Wow. Okay. All right. I guess. Almost thought we didn't have any redstone there for a second. I was about to freak out. Okay. All we need is two of them for right now, so we should be able to like drill down through this and get a couple of these things going here. So there is two basic machine casings, then we needed four carbon plates, four raw mesh, eight raw carbon, uh, 16 coal. Oh, where you got that done? Wait. Yeah, that's, that's right. So that needs to be put into the compressor. That's done. What else do we need here? Uh, steel plates. So we're going to need eight steel. We already have the refined iron plates. So now we are missing advanced alloys. So we need to do this recipe twice. So six iron, six bronze, and tin. Six iron, bronze. And tin. Right, and get into the compressor. Apparently, we already had some basic machine casings made. So we have one extra basic machine. So we have two advanced machines. Uh, we are going to need eight circuits. Okay, we don't have any of those. Uh, all right, so iron plate. Copper wire. Uh, six times eight. Is that 48? Uh, I'd math on camera. Uh, rubber. We don't have any rubber bars, huh? All right. I did math. I did it. I'm a mather. Uh, 
Oh, you know what? We already had copper wires in there. I guess I didn't have to make it. Okay, so let's do this, 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 that, these, and then redstone is what we're missing. Do we have the intricate circuit boards? If not, we need to start getting those cooked up like right now. Gold. Redstone. Um, oh, we are, of course we have those done. I thought ahead. Of course we have those done. Okay. So now we need basic capacitors. Signalum. One, two, three. Is it eight? No, it'd be 16, right? I think it's 16. It's two per circuit. And we have eight circuits. And we don't have any redstone chipsets. Wow. Wow. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. I feel like I need to swap this chest out with the interface. That way, everything that we make just goes right back into the AE system. How are we doing down here? We could absolutely do that. Do we have an extra interface already made? Can I make one? Dude, the auto crafting is real. It's just happening. Watch it happen. Wow. 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 That just happened. It's happening. Interface. All right, so ME glass cable. Mm -mm -mm. Am I done with Project Ozone 3 Kappa? What would lead you to ask such a question? Project Dozen 3 Kappa is a YouTube series, and this is a Twitch series. Completely separate. Okay, so now that we have that stuff done, we need a frequency transmitter. Oh, that's two more uh, sweetkits we need to make. Uh, Meister Waiku coming in with a 27 month tier three resub. Meister Waiku, welcome back. Thank you so much for the support. Appreciate that. 27 months. Oh, I didn't make the circuit. Of course it didn't. So two of those, two of those. Uh, oh, I was like, oh, uh, what? <laughs> two of those. Cool. So now we need the Enderium, the Octatics, and the Ender Electron Tubes. So Ender is Eye of Ender. Please? No, that's not right, is it? Yes, it is. So we will do four of those and then, uh, and stone.
Boom. Okay, so those are done. Very good. Octatic. So it is two. We need a total of four of these. So we need eight, 16. We're going to be able to do that. I don't think we got the Signalum. Oh, we don't have the Lapis either. Hello, Vamp. How you doing, dude? There's 16 of those guys. Uh, we are needing energetic alloy. So that is redstone, glowstone, and gold. Redstone, glowstone, gold. Man, we got so many resources, guys. Remember when we didn't have enough resources before? That's no longer the case. We have the resources. We have the technology. Am I planning on joining Hermitcraft Season 7? Anything's possible, dude. Anything's possible. Take it to the next. Hello, no name. <laughs> bum, bum. All right, so we needed how many energetic alloys? I guess it'd be the same amount. So we need 16 as we do the basic capacitors. So we're at two. And then how many of the Enderiums are we going to need? Eight of those. And that is made with the Enderium base. And Pyrothium. That's all of our pearls. Uh, Pyrothium. Mm -hmm. Wait, did I say I needed 16 of those? I think I said I needed 16 of those, not 8 of those. Are you more like a modded Minecraft can or a normal Minecraft fan? Well, I wouldn't say I'm a Minecraft can. Yeah, I don't think I would say I'm a Minecraft can. That'd be a little weird. I would say that I enjoy modded Minecraft more than vanilla Minecraft. At least I did for quite some time because vanilla got stale and there was like nothing new being added to the game. That has changed in recent. Um, we did a hardcore Minecraft 100% achievement run recently and I found myself re-enjoying the game. What else is that for the blaze rods? Oh, redstone. I think I got enough redstone over here. Yeah, are you asking me if, my, if I'm a fan or a can? Not actually sure. Okay, so we have those now. Oh, I also have to make the energetic alloys. But I guess we have to make more of that. Glowstone. Gold. Redstone. Dude, this has already got like the best capacitor in there too, and this thing's still slow. 
Am I hyped for the Nether update that will change Nether mods lots? It depends. It really depends on what the update adds. Modded Minecraft has had changed nethers for quite some time. Like that was one of the, almost one of the first mods that were available was like Natura that changes the biomes of the nether and adds all sorts of stuff to it. And it doesn't really add much content. We've had mods that add in new monsters to the nether, which doesn't really add in much content. It really depends on how the piglins and other such things and the blocks and all that kind of stuff. Like if there's something significantly different about the nether that could get me interested, that'd be cool. But just like it rendering slightly differently and having a few new blocks, that doesn't get me excited. Not at all. Yeah, none of that excites me. It really depends on the content that they add. Things like how they changed villagers, where you can get all sorts of crazy trades from them, and you can cure them, and do all sorts of like breeder farms and iron farms. Like, villagers are interesting. I like what they did to the villagers. If they can do something similar to the nether, that would be interesting. How they're going to do that, I don't know. So vibrant alloy is made. I need to go farm up some pearls. All right, let's go pearl farming. I really should just try on the waypoint. It's hard. That's that's not even the right. That is the right one. I need to get feather falling at some point. Oh, I looked at that enderman almost. Options, music and sounds, hostile creatures all the way off. Let the staring contest begin. That's it? There's no more? The error, why would you say that? What the? Dang you, Thumbcraft! Dang you, Thumbcraft! Stop it, Thumbcraft! Ew, I have tainted goo on- Oh, gross! Ew. Ew. Goo taint. Yeah, if you ever, like, find yourself having, uh, a tainted goo on you, you might want to use some hand sanitizer.
Is a gooey taint worse than a crusty taint? Hmm. I'm not actually sure. I'm not actually sure. Where's all the other Endermings? Yo, Ender Brosephs, come over here. Do 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 do. Dude, I feel like there should be more Endermen spawned. Where are they? Hmm. If you leave a gooey out for too long, it becomes crisp. Seems legit. Dude. I'm totally looking at you! That one don't care. Maybe he does care. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ow! Ooh, those guys kind of hurt a little bit. Definitely don't want them touching me. Dude, that one's got like little green swirlies on him. What's the deal? That's an undying Enderman. Dude, that would suck if it like... If like you killed it and it came back to life over and over again. And it just haunts you to the end of your time. Because it's undying. Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, dude. But, um... Okay. Okay. Mm -mm. I think we got enough poils for now. I think we're okay. Will I build a proper Enderman farm? Maybe. I don't really, really remember like what the need is for mob farms in this mod pack. Is there mob difficulty progression in this pack? No, all the mobs, monsters are the same throughout the mod pack. They don't get harder or anything. This mod pack was mostly about mod interactions and recipe changes as opposed to just being flat difficult and challenging. I don't know, Jav. Why don't you download the pack and find out? Archangel56 coming in with a Twitch Prime resub. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate that in the nine months. Appreciate you, dude. All right. Oh, I didn't make these. Bum, 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 bum. What? Oh, the others are in my inventory. And there we go. Sweet. Now we got to fill them. So that is eight more pearls. Gams with a hundred bits. Thank you for the hundred. Is Esty a bot? No. Bum, 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 bum.
Yeah, if, if she was a bot, she re really would be the best bot. But she's not a bot. Mm. Trying to figure out how I want to do this. I guess we can do it this way. Oh. Well, that's a problem. At least we can remelt it, though. What up? Oh, did it make a block over here? I guess we can do both at the same time. Will I be doing bees as well this playthrough? I'm sure we will be doing them at some point. I feel like that's kind of required for this playthrough. Alright, so now we have two Tesseracts. Actually, I guess we probably could have gotten away with one. Just place one over here and have wires coming off both sides. Let's knock this out just a little bit. So that's two blocks wider on that side than we're on this side. So I guess we will widen this one out. What am I cooking? I'm not cooking anything. What are you cooking? Not sure how far back that needs to go. Oops. Just 
What flavor is the cake gonna be? Well, currently we're moving our machines into a more permanent room so we can set up automations for them. So I guess they're gonna be machine flavored cakes or automation flavored cakes, whichever you prefer. Can't see. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of people who just come in here specifically for the purpose of trying to get attention or they're bored and they're just going to troll constantly or whatever. People like that have no place here. They can find another stream to do that in. Don't have the patience or the will to even want to deal with it. Okay. Oh, I need to fill that back in and I put those blocks away. Dang it. Did I make this one block further back on this side than the other side? Oh boy. Oh no. Aw, oh, jeez. Well, I guess there's one, one quick solution for that. Uh... Petrusel just resub for five months. I totally said your name incorrectly. Thank you so much for the five months of support. I do appreciate it. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name correctly. All right, that's better. Now, the only thing is, I don't know if we are far enough back. Oh, that was a torch. Oh, that's right. That's right there. Ah, we almost made it as far back as we needed to be. Hello, Yoda Force. Finally, you will sub? Awesome, dude. Thank you for support. All right. So the underside is ready to go. I guess we can fill that back in. That doesn't need to. That doesn't need to be exposed on the surface anymore. Yoda Force coming in with a two month resub, dropping a Twitch Prime. Thank you, Yoda, for the two months. Appreciate you, dude. Did I go anywhere to watch the game? No, I just watched it on my couch. I watch it on the Fox sports app thing, whatever. 
because I searched Google and that was the only thing that I saw that you could watch it for free. It was actually in pretty good quality and seemed real time, so. I was pretty happy about that choice. Xenocron with a 19 month resub. Xenocron, welcome back, dude. Thank you for the 19. Can you see my power gem? Sure. Mm -mm -mm. So our nuclear six of those reactors. Then we also have this guy down here, which really isn't doing too much. We're only using like five RF per tick off it right now. But if we need more power, we have this one. If I shave my beard, I would look like a young Andy Reid. Should I know who Andy Reid is? I feel like I probably should, but I don't know who that is. The Kansas City head coach? I'd have to see a picture. I don't know. Probably is not a compliment. The guy that got banned is trying to send a message to me through you. Just block him, dude. Don't re relay messages from trolls. Just block them. They're obviously just here to troll and ruin people's fun. As far as I'm concerned, they don't exist. They're gone. Um. Yeah, let's start moving machines over. So we need to get our power cables over there. I guess we can just use this kind of a power setup. These guys. Mm. I might leave that here for now. I want to move these things. These are more important. Uh, Galaxy in an Atom just subscribed to the channel. Welcome, dude. Thank you for the sub. One, two, three, four, five. I need five interface. Let's make ten. Captain Mush, you have eaten live grasshoppers before. That's random. Macerator, Furnace, Metal Former. I'm gonna want a second Metal Former, so I'm gonna leave space for a second one. And then Compressor. And then Extractor. All right, Yoda, we'll see you later, dude. Thanks for hanging out. Mm. 
I guess I'm gonna move this closer to like the center. Let's see how this works. That seems like it's going to work just fine. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to see these or not. Perfect. All right, let's move the Tesseract over. Although they don't have power, why not? Oh, receive only. Whoops. Okay, now they should have power. There we go. Mm Okay, so we have that done. I want to make another metal former. Fight. Oh, you know what? I guess I'm going to have to make those bronze plates, huh? Debbie Pure, how you doing, dude? So we need two chests, two chests, and two toolboxes. It's really aggravating that the IC2 recipes won't shift click in vanilla stuff. They only shift click their own stuff in there. Doesn't really make much sense to me, but okay. New fatality. There we go, new metal former. Cool, so now we have one always for extruding and one for uh, rolling. Rolling, extruding. All right. Uh, oh, I didn't grab the interfaces. Okay. Shush creepy cave noises. So that's done. We just need to run some applied energistics over here and then extract out of the machine into the interface. We can use Ender IO conduits, I guess, for that. There's no nuclear craft in this. There's Nuclear Craft Magnetica 2 Expert, which I played through on YouTube. There's a Nuclear Craft in Project Ozone 3, which I'm currently playing and I have messed with. Uh, there was Nuclear Craft in the previous mod pack that I played before Magnetica 2 Expert, I think. I have played with it in a few different series. Uh, 
Mm -mm -mm. Put the tits rack away for now. The auto eject is pretty slow, so I'm not gonna do that. What is that stuff called? Enderium base. Pyrothium. Pearl. What the people do? in there. Hello Flavored Zippo, you haven't dropped in in a while. How's it going? It's going well. Welcome back, dude. Will I be redoing trying to remake Infinity Evolve for 1.12.2 newer versions? Why would I make the pack? I don't make mod packs. I play mod packs. Skazzy says, hey, you said in your YouTube video for Project Ozone 3 Kappa that Voidcraft is removed. I did say that. Was that the land that makes your screen all purple and such and has ghost-like mods? Yes. You thought that mod was cool. You wonder why it was removed if you know the reason. The mod Voidcraft was discontinued by the mod author removed by the mod author from the forgecraft website where you download mods and they have asked everybody to stop including it in mod packs what the reason that the mod author requested that i don't know uh a tubby pure coming in with a 30 month resub welcome back tubby thank you for the 30 months, dude. Oh, here we go. Appreciate the Twitch Prime. Yeah, I've never made a mod pack ever, the error. I only play them. I could not, I don't think I could ever make a mod pack. Not that I'm not like smart enough to do it or whatever, but it requires an enormous amount of time and then I'd have to constantly be tech support for everybody coming into my live stream saying, this doesn't work, or how do I do this? Or why didn't you include this mod? And yada, 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 yada. I don't, that's not anything remotely what I want to deal with. <laughs> not even close to anything that I want to deal with. I'm good with without that. Yeah, the resub on Twitch client, but it didn't give you the option to share, so you opened in a browser. Ah. Yeah, for whatever reason, people resubbing with Prime, like, more often than not, I've seen issues with that, and I'm not, I don't know why. Hypno's making Project Dozen 4 confirmed? No. Alright, how are we doing on ME glass cable? Not really good, to be honest. Can I craft up like a hundred of those? Ooh. Ooh. Let's go make some sort of dust, eh? Eh? Oh, the overclockers are in my inventory. Tabius, you're currently in the hospital with a broken foot that has three broken bones in it? 
dude. What did you do? That sucks. He broke his foot, thanks. I, I kind of got that. In your mistake, though someone mentioned me somewhere in a vid as a creator of, of FTB Infinity Evolved? You trying to find the vid now? Yeah, I'm, that's an obvious mistake. I've never made a mod pack ever. Methods. Block them, dude. You can't at them. There's no point adding them. They can't reply. They're banned from the channel. Talking to banned people on the channel is pretty pointless. Nobody really cares what that guy's got to say anyway. Did I not just put in a bunch of Sirius Quartz dust? Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> it's in my inventory. I was like, what? What just happened here? Project does on three hypno mode. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. Uh, you know what? We didn't even start into our P2Ps yet, did we? Let's make some P2Ps. We really that low on diamonds? Ah, we got diamond ores? Would love to play the Kappa mode. It will be available when it's available. It'll be available for you to play when it's available. I guess I should should clarify that a little bit. Yeah, man, those try-hard trolls, like, that's the kind of garbage I definitely don't want on my channel. Did I enjoy the game? Yes, I did. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I really don't watch too much football because I usually am doing other things, so I don't really catch too many games, but I try and catch the Super Bowl. Uh, do we have any dye? We have yellow. Are we doing yellow cables? I just answered that for you. Um, cable anchors. Yeah, loads of silver. Let's use this. So to make dense cable in this version, we have to do four covered cables. Whoa. String. Somebody had asked a while ago why I was 
10, 10, 10 in cotton. For this reason here. Uh, Park, that's cool. Like, we're totally not even doing anything remotely close to that right now. Hello, Leo! What's the goal for today? We're trying to get, like, our machines sorted so we can start doing auto-crafting with them. Kind of wish you would have seen the Stardew Valley in Terraria. You can always go back and watch those VODs, dude. They are still available to be seen on Twitch and on YouTube. Well, Skazzies, that's not what the statement was. The statement was they wish that they had seen me play it. And it's still available to watch. Yeah, Stardew was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. We played that twice. The second time, I mean, it was still fun, but it didn't feel like there was anything, like any new content. Like, I mean, yeah, sure there was new content, but like, it felt like we were playing the same exact thing, right? There was some slight changes here and there. And I think they had nerfed some things. Like, I think in the first playthrough, the berries were like super valuable and they were less valuable in the second playthrough, but um the game is definitely a lot of fun i highly recommend stardew valley if you've never played it before i know they've added multiplayer to the game recently but again like they haven't really changed the game so it would probably feel like i'm playing the same thing again hmm Have I got a new editor for my videos? Because the last episode seemed like it had the weird jump cuts where you're talking in the middle of a cut video. What? I don't have an editor. I do my own editing. Yeah, I don't know how much you you think that I make, but it's definitely not enough to hire an employee. If I could, like if I made enough that I could hire a staff or at least one employee to like do the editing for me, oh God, I would absolutely do it. Like, if I could just see here, record the videos and just hand them a bunch of raw footage and be like, make an episode, mm -hmm. I'd be doing that, but... No, we're not talking about streaming. This is for YouTube, dude. What? You don't have a full production staff? I know. I know. Y'all thought that I did. I am living in Hollywood, man. I mean, no, I'm not. I'm in Florida. I'm definitely in Florida right now. There's a palm tree right outside. 
It's really, it's, it's really humid. It's definitely humid outside. Isn't there Hollywood in Florida? There might be. I'm sure there's Hollywood, the name of the city in probably a few different states. All right, Tubby, we'll see you later, dude. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the support. Do you have any other hobbies besides gaming? I don't have time for other hobbies. Like, this literally takes up all my time. I mean, I guess I do programming every now and then for different various things that I want to program. You can consider that a hobby. That used to be my full-time employment. And making videos used to be my hobby, and now it's my full-time employment. So those, those roles kind of reversed a little bit. Mm, but no, I don't really have any any hobbies at the moment. Yeah, ma <laughs> tending to Max is a full-time job. Have I ever felt that games don't bring me the joy anymore? Mmm... I wouldn't say that. Mm -mm. Uh, and it never really was about the game to begin with. It's always been about content creation, making things that, for other people to enjoy. Like I enjoyed Minecraft when I first started making the videos. Um, that's not to say I don't enjoy it now, but it was a brand new game and it was something that was interesting to me. But, like, making content for other people is what really made it more interesting for me. I think we're gonna do this and get a whole bunch more. Does binge watching shows count as a hobby? Dude, I tell you what, I've been watching a show recently. Uh, The Curse of Oak Island. It's a History Channel show. Oh my goodness. I've been watching every single episode of that show. It's very rare that I will watch a show that, like, makes me want to watch the next episode and just keep watching and keep watching. And that's one of those shows. I found it on Hulu and I started watching. I was like, what is this? And just like, oh, okay. All right, I can get down with this. Hypno, show us your first YouTube video you uploaded. I actually don't know if I have my first YouTube video that I uploaded. But you can watch it on YouTube. You go to YouTube, look at my videos, and reverse the sort order. Instead of newest to oldest, you should be able to find it. Uh, hello, T. Jappert. Am I keeping Project Ozone a daily series as much as possible? Like, obviously, I have some blips here and there where I don't upload, but for the most part. We'll see. It's like uh, an almost daily series. How about that? It's a daily series except for when it isn't. Mm-mm. Is that funny to you, the error? That was me programming. I'm glad I amuse you.
You get pretty sad when you don't get to watch a new episode. But you can always go back and watch a previous episode. You could make your own, like, previously on Project Ozone 3 Kappa mode. And, like, uh, watch all the different episodes and, like, skip through them and be like, Oh, yeah, I remember when you did this. That was pretty cool. You could do that. Make sure you watch all the ads and click on them and that stuff too while you're in the process. Uh, let me let me rephrase that. Click on the ads only, only if they interest you. Only then should you click on the ads. Only then if you are interested in them. The error, are you like just here to troll dude? Because like your last few comments have been nothing but trolling. If your only reason for being here is to troll, we can fix that. JM Ferg coming in with a nine month resub. Welcome back, JM Ferg. Thank you for the nine months and for dropping that Twitch Prime. What's the cotton for? The cotton is for turning into string, the strings for turning into wool. The wool is for making covered ME cables. The covered ME cables are for making dense ME cables. We're getting our automation. Do you know if there's anything similar to the bonsai tree, but for growing sugar cane? Never seen anything like a bonsai tree for sugar cane. Um, I guess the closest possible thing that I could think of would be like the garden cloche from immersive engineering, which does not appear in this mod pack. But it'd be in something made in 110 and higher, I believe. But something that's like a farm that requires no power or water, specifically for sugarcane. I have not seen something like that. I think we're probably done here. I think that's enough. Well, that's a creeper. Woo, good thing you didn't sneak up on me. How does this work? Is it this way? There it is. Why do we only make- oh, there was like already a stack there. Okay. I was like, why do we only make 15 of those? Glowstone. Redstone. Okay, let the fun begin. Oops.
Um, uh, I'm not sure what the other color we're gonna use is. Matt's uh, coming in with a six month resub. Welcome back, dude. Thanks for the six and for dropping your prime. I will take your prime. Thank you. Um, I mean, we could use white, I suppose. So we want that, this, that. Yellow dense cables look really weird. They do. They kind of look orange, don't they? They don't really look yellow. I mean, there's a yellow stripe on the center, obviously. I don't know if that's supposed to be yellow with um, the purple color mixed in. Oh. So you haven't tried any Elder Scrolls games according to your list or you're blind. Any thought of that in the future? Um, I haven't added Elder Scrolls to the list because I played that on stream before I started streaming like full time. Uh, I, I guess I don't really stream full time. Before I was a partnered streamer. Um, yeah, we played some Skyrim on stream at some point. But no, I haven't done a full Elder Scrolls playthrough. I do plan on playing through Elder Scrolls before six Hammerfell comes out. At least that's the tentative plan right now. But we don't have a release date for that yet either. Just fall through that anyway. But yeah, I think we'll do like a Skyrim playthrough at some point in the future. I need more P2Ps. I need one, two, three, four, five. Let's make 10 more so we can place them other other places as well. Make a pattern for a P2P. P2P. 10, please. Do it. Can you replicate the Certus wrench? I don't think so. Okay, so now we got that all sorted. We can replace this cable here with a P2P as well. Oh, did I ever make the memory card? I don't think I ever made the memory card. We're gonna run this under. I forgot there was a big void underneath us. <laughs> Yeah. All 
All right. Then we'll put facades on there to get rid of the weird hole a little bit later. So that's all set up. So I need to go get myself a memory card. I don't think we've made one of those because we haven't really done anything with P2Ps yet, right? If I had one, it'd be in here. Oh, I want to put the tainted goo in here. Memory? No. P2P purpose is just saving dense cables. That and making like your whole system not like a complete spaghetti nest of wires. Whoops, I did that the wrong way. There we go. So now I can finish uh, adding all of our auto crafting things over here too. Now that we got that sorted, uh, thirty-two. I need twenty-four more of these. Ooh, blue X dust, eh? Yeah, if you don't know about P to P's. They're like the best thing that you can do in applied energistics. Is that the thing where you made the thing to color code your channels and such? What? Can you autocraft the ME energy cells now in the past room or the wrench would disappear? As far as I know, that bug still exists that you cannot autocraft with the wrench, which is fine because you don't really make the energy cells too often. I don't have a recipe for the molecular assemblers. All right, so I need a recipe for a crafting table, which is fine. And then I need, what was the other thing that I needed? I think it was just quartz, right? Or uh, flux. Oh, I'm gonna need some more spruce. So craft up a bunch of these. Dire wire is good. Well, you better keep watching his content then. If that's what the kind of stuff you like. Quantum linking cannot accept P2Ps? Yes, they can. You can run 
The way that I do P2Ps, you can absolutely run 32 P2P channels off of Quantum Ring. Yep. Dense cable into the Quantum Ring, dense cable out of the Quantum Ring, 32 P2Ps off of that dense cable, 32 channels per P2P. Absolutely. The quantum ring can do 32 channels, not eight. If you put a dense cable onto the sending side, it'll do 32 channels off the receiving side. Um. Oh, Essie, you're taking off. We'll see you later. What will that not place it? Oh, there's a torch there. Right, that's, so that should now be all 32 channels, all right? That looks really weird. It just almost looks completely solid. It's never been 16 P2Ps in the past. It's always been one P2P per channel. And now it's glowing, yep. I mean, I guess it makes it easier to visually see which ones are, uh, are completely full. Alright, um, so now we need to get P2Ps over here so we can do what we need to do. That was weird. I'm your P2P guru. I taught you all you know about P2Ps. Now, I feel like a lot of people don't really know about them, unfortunately. And that's like a huge part of applied energistics that makes it good. Like people are like, uh, channels, I have to deal with channels or whatever, and then they don't know anything about P2Ps. Okay, so we have six machines here, so we can just run it off one of these. I'm not sure how we're going to do this just yet. Sinister coming in with a three-month reset. Welcome back, Sinister. Thank you for the three months and for dropping that Twitch Prime. The problem with the ejector upgrade is I think they can only do, I want to say it's like one, like 10 items per second. I feel like it's one item per two ticks, or maybe it's only, I don't know, but I feel like they start becoming a problem when you really get crazy with the power on the IC2 machines. And I just don't feel like they can keep up. You cannot stack then no, there's only one per machine. You know, I'm going to move this. Down that side. 
Do that. One of these. One of these. And then the rest, this. Mm, 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 mm. So we need to get ourselves... I guess we don't need to do it right now. I was going to say we need to get ourselves like a bunch of the uh, dense white cables, but that's not important not until we're starting to max those cables out. Um... It'll be something like that. We're gonna have to do this floor over here eventually. Do, 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 do. And for that, I will grab these. I generally make a cubic shape with my Emmy controller, but I went Halo this time. I'm not so sure this is the the size of like our applied energistics room completely yet. We might lower the floor and I might make it into a cube. I don't know. We're just trying to get things going for now. I need more of these. Can I make like 200? So in order to make 200, I need 10 sand and nine more blue X. Can I make like some blue X? Okay, so that's cooking over there. I'll make up. Make up a bunch of these. All right, Skazzies, we'll see you. Really don't know how many of these we need. I don't want to go too crazy just yet until I know. Far. There you go, that's all connected. Alright, that looks like everything is good over here. So these should now be ready to put recipes into the IC2 machines, and then we need to extract that out of them. So that's back to what we were doing previously, that I wanted to get some conduits made. Which means I needed more of this. Hello, CJ, how you doing, dude? We have to put those in there. Oh, I brought the watering can over here. That was a mistake. Okay, uh, this, this, this. Perfect. How's Hypno today? Hypno is doing great today. Mm 
Oops. So I need to get myself um Emmy conduit for that last one. And that'll solve the following problem. That, this, whoops, that, that, this. Okay, now we're all set. I was like, what was it that we were making before? Why? Oh, you can't. There's no, there's no button. There's no button. I want there to be a button, but there isn't a button. When do I get better power transfer? Uh, we already have better power transfer. We have Tesseracts. Why? I made Emmy Conduit. What are we talking about? Is Igmatica too expert? The, the closest a pack has come to Infinity Evolve expert since. You know, I've never really thought about it, to be honest. I didn't really feel like it was close. I mean, it has immersive engineering, or, uh, yeah, it has immersive engineering, but it also has IC2, but I didn't think it was, like, similar. I mean, it's an expert-style mod pack. I feel like I was gonna make a pattern for something else over here. Now I can't remember what it was. Ten in that one, and that one. The extractor we don't really do too much with. How far am I from making an angel ring? Far. So far, I'm not even gonna bother looking. All right. Well, that feels pretty good. Now I need to do the same thing on the other side with, um, I guess, the thermal machines. All right, let's get these made. You might be an odd one, but you like jetpacks more than creative play. I mean, they both have their place. Ain't nothing wrong with either one. Oh, we already have this one up here, too. Let's bring this with us.
I'm gonna regret putting some of these things away, but I need my inventory clean so I know what the actual is going on here. Oof, so much better. This doesn't need to be here anymore now. And this machine can be moved over. I suppose. Yeah, that feels pretty good getting all that stuff cleaned up. You do wish to make a jetpack for the bobble slot somehow though, since sacrificing a chest piece can be quite a detriment sometimes. Uh, I don't remember what wireless, I don't think there's the creative, or the, not creative, I don't think there's a crafting terminal. It's just the regular wireless terminal. There's the universal terminal and it says that you can do crafting with it and I think I've made this before and like the crafting thing just never worked. We're gonna try it again eventually, I guess, but I don't I don't really think it's gonna do anything for us. Hello Finn. You finally got your destiny. Your double monitor setup is shining. Nice, dude. Once you go double monitors, you're never going to go back to a single one. It's the way that works. So congratulations for having dual monitors for the rest of your life. Um, Interface. If you ever upgrade to three monitors, you're never going to be able to go back down to two. Like, you're always going to have three monitors. So make sure you're ready to commit to having more than two monitors if you ever do. If you have six monitors, well, rip. It's over. Everything, Everything's downhill from there. What happens if you go to 12? You're basically in the matrix at that point. All right, so the pulverizer, we can do push pull. Oh, we have the uh, things removed. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, so we want that and that. So now... No? Did 1710 Thermal Expansion not have push-pull? Maybe not. Tesla plays you're gonna stick to one monitor as long as you can force yourself to. I would recommend going up to two. Alright, I guess we need to extract out of the back. It seems really loud for some reason. Oh my goodness, why is it so loud? All right, that should be fun. Sinok with 500 bits. Hey, Hebno, just wanted to throw some bitch your way. And thank you for all the entertainment you provide me on Twitch and YouTube. Well, you're welcome, dude. Thank you for the 500. Oh, do I have enough item conduit for this? I do. At least I hope I do! Ow. Ow. Did that not connect because I was standing there? What the heck happened? Oh, it exports fluids. Of course that's not going to work. So that needs to be this side. So now we need to get the power supply going. I guess the other important thing is getting applied energistics hooked up. That might help a little bit. Now I kind of want that over here so I didn't have to run the white cable as far. Well. Because now I'm taking this cable and kind of doubling back on it. For some reason, you thought the green power nodes were one-to-one -one long haul instead of multiple connections? I don't know why you thought that, but... I think we are going to move this because we are wasting a lot of cable. 
Like this only needs to run over to this side, so we're wasting like however long that is worth the keyboard. My YouTube vids have helped you a lot on Stoblock. Also want to say that I'm really good at Minecraft. Well, I hope so with as much time as I've put into playing the game, but I'm glad that I was able to help you uh, through your Stoneblock playthrough. That's awesome. Yeah, it'd be kind of be kind of sad if I had put in as much time as I had in Minecraft up until this point. And people are like, dang, you need to get better. <laughs> you know what I mean? That, that would be awful. Yeah, exactly. Get good. Well, I mean, we don't listen to Nighthawk anyway, so... Whatever he says doesn't really matter. Nighthawk's adorable thinking that anybody cares what he has to say. Got him! Oh, does this not work as a wrench? Oh, it does. Dude, I have to like press three freaking buttons for this to work. I think it's just better to, to use the pick. If I had created flight, that'd be easier, but since I don't, this is better. Uh, oh, we're still going back quite far. There we go. Did I ever click this one? I don't remember if I did. Everyone cares what I have to say, right guys? Guys? Hello? Is my chat working? I guess I'll use this one. Do we have wireless power into our person yet? Is there a way to get wireless power? Like on your person in this? I don't remember.
Capacitors? That's not really wireless power, is it? Maybe I'm not understanding what you're saying. What FOV do I use? Normal. If you use anything that other than normal, you are abnormal. Since you're asking the question which FOV I'm using, I'm assuming you are abnormal. Because only abnormal people ask such a question. That is not what I meant to do. Everything's fine, just lost some torches, no big deal. Yeah, anything other than normal, anything other than this is abnormal. That's abnormal and that's abnormal. Where's your Quake Pro players at? Not here. If that's what you like to watch, feel free to go somewhere else. I know it's max FOV. I've been playing Minecraft probably longer than you have, dude. Quake Pro has been the setting for like forever. Well aware what it is, and it is disgusting. And it's not going to be here. Dude, why are there still mobs over here? What the heck? Why is there just randomly... Oh, that's right. I turned the mob sounds off. That's going to get me. We have that down because of the magnet. You play on Quake Pro? Yeah, you you should just uninstall your game completely. Where am I going? What am I doing? I came over here to drop off the watering can. I came over here to drop off the watering can and ended up getting pure Fluex crystals in the process. Win-win. What's the most challenging expert mod pack that I have played? That would probably be FTB Interactions. And it's challenging because it challenged my patience. There's so much grind in that mod pack from day one to day 74, whatever it was. It was constant grind. There was no like, hey, we made it this far and now things are easy. Nope. It was grind, grind, grind from start to finish. Also target locked and enemy acquired. Have I tried playing Galactic Science? No. Okay. So I guess we can start setting up some auto crafting for these machines that we have moved over there. Um, I thought we had more. Oh no, that's right. It only requires one going into here. You're just wondering why I chose the IC2 Advanced Jetpack over the Thermal Expansion or Ender IO based ones? Because it was easier to make. This has push pull. 
doesn't show the interface on top of it anymore. Oh, there's no block there. Maybe it does show that actually. I thought I had. They're gonna be enough. I don't know. That's not gonna be enough keyboard. So I need one, two, three. Unless I want to bring it down here and then I'm going to need a little bit more than three. I should probably just bring it down there because it's got to be a separate connection anyway. Hello, Narmnet. I guess I need to bring a power source over there and bring one. Sweet little kinses. Okay, back to watching your YouTube vids. Have a wonderful stream. It was really nice talking to you. All right, we'll see you later. Have fun watching the YouTubes. Oh, I had, I had a wire connector. Whoops. There we go. Now it's all hooked up. Now we have all of our machines situated where they need to be. I guess we still have these that we can do stuff with. And those. I think we're good for now. I will move those later when I feel like when I feel like it's appropriate to move them, I will move them. Right now, I don't feel like it's appropriate. How do you upgrade your AE2 Wi-Fi system to infinite distance? You need to have the wireless crafting table and it has to have the wireless range card thing in the crafting table. The infinite range booster. Um, I guess at this point we could start auto crafting things like making processors. By processor, I mean circuit. So that means that we're going to want iron turning into an iron plate, which we have to literally go over and make one every single time for one of these, but that's fine. Only have to do it the one time. Damn, that should be fixed now. Okay, we're good. Am I following the quest or not at all? Um, 
when we need to. We've done some of the quests. I also need to know which one does plates and which one's the extruder. Alright, now we know. Cool, so if I want to do... Whoops, sir... Cut. So can I now make IC2 circuits without having to craft them manually? Oh my god, that is so good. Do I know if there's a way I'm refined storage too? I don't think you can do infinite unless you have the wireless crafting terminal mod installed in your mod pack that has the infinite possibility. We're gonna need a recipe for rubber. And that needs to turn to a rubber bar, which we don't have over here yet. Oh, we do have some. Whoops, I missed them. Okay, copper. One of those turns into three of those. One of those plus one of those equals one of these. Awesome. All right, so now. Let's do one for the advanced circuit. Basic capacitor, there we go. I guess until we start in the compacting drawers, we'll just put these recipes in here like that. So it knows how to do those kinds of crafts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want to craft those up, it looks like we can, but now we're just going to have to like start getting these different materials here. When do you do single item versus half stack, etc. that I sometimes see you do? Are you asking me how do I do it? Um, big time deja vu. You just spent the day watching a few vids in the other series where all the same things are being automated. I mean, that happens. I mean, it's all of these mod packs are pretty much the same as far as that goes. You make machines, you automate them. Applied Energistics is the way you automate, and it's all automated. I mean, pretty much the same way. Mm -mm -mm. I think it would make sense to get Signalum. Ah, 
that's super annoying. That doesn't have that plus button. So three copper, silver, and ten redstone. And that makes how many? Four. When it, what situations do you get AE2 auto crafting to do one half or full stacks versus single items? I don't understand what you are asking. If you want to auto craft something, you can middle click if there's items there and you can choose how many to make. I still don't understand what you're asking. If that's not what you're asking. Um, so in Dirium, so it's two tin, a silver and a shiny. And then to make the Enderium itself. Two Enderium, one Pyruthium, and two Enderpearls. Oops, on the wrong one. You think he's talking about like when you grow pure quartz and make it do a stack at a time instead of one at a time? I mean, that's just done like what we're doing here. If you wanted to do a stack of crystals at a time, you tell it that a stack of seeds equals a stack of crystals being returned. This is essentially like you're making a black box. You could say nine stacks of items returns nine stacks of items. I mean, you can't really do it because you only have the limit of up to three stacks, but you understand what I'm saying. If you want to do two stacks, you do two stacks of seeds equals two pure. If you want to do three stacks, three stacks of seeds equals three. And then I'll craft all that and put three in at a time. You want to create an expert mod pack? Any tips for it? Good luck. I mean, I, I don't know. I've never made a mod pack before, so I don't know what kind of tips you're looking for. Um, and let it slip away because it's all you got. Stand up and make so, like these right here, we're making 64 fluix crystals. We've told it to do 32 nether quartz, 32 redstone, and 32 charged certus quartz, right? Stand up and make a move. It's just the same thing. Um, what else? I guess machine frame or a machine casing this thing.
There we go. And then the advanced machine casing. I would have to have a machine casing already in order to make that. So let's do that. The more of these things that we can get auto-crafted, the better overall our experience is going to be here. Oh, you know what? Oh, we do have an iron chip. So I was going to say, you know what? We don't have one of those, but we do. Okay, so now we want to do like carbon plate. So we kind of got to work backwards, unfortunately, with this. Uh, coal. You want to create an expert mod pack playable of four gigs of RAM for people who can't play with more than that. That is going to be a real challenge. Everything above 1710 needs more than four gigs. So I wish you luck on your endeavor. I mean, honestly, if people have less than four gigs of RAM or only four gigs, it's time for them to get a new machine. Let's be honest. Uh, carbon. Didn't I not just tell it how to make pulverized coal? I guess I didn't tell how to do that. What's going on over here? Mm. Oh, I have coal dust, not pulverized coal. Let's switch it. Dude, how do I already have two nothings? I think this is a nothing, right? Where would the other one be? That would be downstairs, wouldn't it? Mm. This right here. I still have another nothing. That's got to be this one? No, that can't be a nothing. That's got to be called open crate, right? Tile that open crate zero. So where would the other nothing be? Oh, uh, it's back behind. That's where it is. It's got to be back behind here.
Well, that should be called a chest, not nothing. I'm not sure why that's called a nothing. Hmm. The quarry? Let's see. Ah, this guy. I forgot that was there. Does that do it? That looks like it did it. All right, cool. No, I wanted the Macerator. The Macerator, anything we can do in the Macerator is going to be way faster than the Pulverizer. So I need to cancel this. Try that again. Okay, now I need to change the other recipe. Darty Stip Pants coming in with 200 bits. Thanks, dude, for the 200. Appreciate you. All right, that works pretty well. So now we want to take that and turn that into this thing. Carbon mesh. And then a carbon mesh. I'm gonna go put it over into the compressor over here. Hello, Pixel! Yeah, we spent far too much time on the um, script to try and figure out the immersive engineering chunks. Like, there were chunks that said that there was stuff in that w there was no stuff in. Like, it might have worked for you. You might just have a seed that just works with it, but it obviously does not work. We spent far too much time. Like, you can feel free to watch the entire episode and watch all the testing we did, but you coming in here saying that it worked for you? I, I don't believe it. Maybe you're using a different version than I am? I don't know. I don't believe it, though. It didn't work for me. I'm glad it worked for you. Saves you time. It did not work for me. In fact, we loaded up another world with the same exact seed and different chunks still had different things in them. So, again, I'm glad it works for you. It did not work for me. All right. Oh, we still need to do advanced alloy mixed metal ingots. Yeah, mixed metal is the next thing we need to do. Iron plates, bronze, and tin. You guess that is something that could be tested. Feel free to test, dude. Like, we already spent plenty of time on stream testing and it did not work.
All right, now we can auto craft mixed metal ingots, which is crazy awesome. And we want to take those and compress them into the alloy. Cool, so now we can make those whenever we want to, which means we should be able to auto craft advanced machine casings now. Ah, oh, it's so good. So good. Advanced machine casing. Can I auto craft 10 of those? So we could, except we don't have refined iron specified. We're running low on iron itself. Okay. Dislodged Anvil just reset for four months. Welcome back, Dislodged Anvil. Thank you for the four months and for dropping your Twitch Prime. <laughs> All right, so refined iron. Oh, we already got that made, so that'll be easy to do. So one of those equals one of these. Boop. Cool. So advanced machine casing. So the only thing we're missing is iron and coal, apparently. Because the system doesn't know how to unblock by coal or iron. Well, let's fix that. You know, honestly, I think I'd rather just not use storage drawers at all this playthrough. I don't even need that many right now. We're just going to craft these up simply because we can. And it's pretty awesome that we can. Although this is going kind of slow. I wonder why. By it's going kind of slow. I mean, it's not even doing anything. What up with that? Out of power. This is hogging it all. Okay, that's better. We definitely need to get ourselves an MFE or whatever to store EU power and then transfer that using uh, glass fiber. We will work on that here pretty soon as well. BQ Sierra coming in with a 21 month resub drop in Twitch Prime. Thank you, BQ Sierra. Welcome back, dude. Thank you for the 21. Does it make sense to put related items into different molecular assemblers? For example, if they're commonly made at or around the same time, having an own assembly makes it faster. It really depends on what it is that you're crafting. Um, for the most part, it's not going to make much of a difference. If you are constantly crafting and using those molecular assemblers and like something else is being like prevented from being crafted, sure can craft faster. But generally speaking, the bottleneck of all auto crafting is the machines, not the internal crafting. So if there's a problem, you can always move them around to fix it, but it doesn't really matter for the most part. Uh, acceleration cards. We have those in auto craft. So I think we need something like 120 of those. Ooh. Ah. You're welcome, BQ Sierra. We need more diamonds. 
What is a good way to get more diamonds, I wonder? Is our quarry done? Since we last, like, did all of our diamonds, we haven't seen any more. Is this done? Ooh, it is done. I almost wanted to do it again and clean up all of the obsidian. What? What? Oh, how did it get back? What? How did that happen? So where is it doing something at? Like, does it really just go through the same process again? Do you have to right click it again to get it to go or is it going? That is doing the whole thing over again. I'm not sure I want to do that now. I was thinking it would be smart and just recognize the blocks that were there and just go specifically after that. If it is going all the way up to Y75 and down, that's kind of stupid. Dude, you stop talking about my quarry hole, all right? It's hard to keep your quarry hole clean. I don't need constant reminders about about my quarry hole, all right? I guess we're going to move this. Uh, we should probably go this way. Yeah, we're not we're not going to do this. We will go way over this way. In fact, we're probably going to end up mining this village out, which is fine. I'm sure the villagers won't mind. Uh, so 1164. Game. Just gonna go ahead and wreck that village. I'm sure everything's gonna be fine. Did we already loot this thing? I'm sure we did, but let's just check it again. Yeah, it's already looted. I'm sure they won't mind that we're just gonna mine out their entire village. I'm sure they're okay with it. It's fine. So if I had to guess, it would be starting over here, just right off this corner. Right there? No. Uh... Okay, where's my mark? Right here. When we did that before, it started off in this corner of the quarry. 
but it's not starting off over there this time, at least not that I can see. Oh, it's starting over here this time for some reason. That's weird. It's fine though, but weird. This is by far the best mod pack ever made. I don't know if it's by far the best one, but it's definitely my favorite. One of my favorite. Go fill in some of those that water out there. Where are we at? You think interactions is better? I mean, everybody's got their uh, their own opinion, and even people that have wrong opinions can still have an opinion. I'm not judging your opinion, even though it's wrong. Okay, that sound needs to die. Oh, uh, that'd be this one, I think. Dude, even turn down to 23%, that seems like it's a little... Uh... Is out here waiting for a new Igmatica. I mean, that that's what does it for you, dude. Igmatica was all right. It was not a bad mod pack. It must be raining. I forget what it takes to do the uh, end version of that ritual so we can get the better builder's wand. I wonder if it's even worth doing, to be honest. Like, right now, anyway. Like, I think we need to do it eventually for something. I just wonder if it's worth pursuing right now. Dude, enough of the lakes. You have to fight a lot of waves of mobs in that, don't you? We still rocking like diamond armor unenchanted 
Not so sure I want to go and like pick a fight. Like our armor is almost broken too. Not sure I really want to go and pick a fight with like a bunch of Endermen and Blaze and things like that until we get better armor. I think that's something we'll probably hold off on until a little bit later. Did I just cover up a bunch of water there? I did. Dude, there's just so many lakes. I think I'm about done with trying to... I tried, and then I gave up on it. The water formations in this dimension are crazy. Uh, Mesley, yes there is, but I'm not changing this mod pack. I'm not changing the mods of this mod pack. If the FTB team update their mod pack and put that version in, fine. I will update, but I'm not like changing mods. What about sponges? Are those an option? Um, they wouldn't be in vanilla in this version because there aren't any of those. The ocean monuments don't exist, but I think open blocks might have a sponge. That says Minecraft. Maybe what version did they put the ocean monuments in? I thought those were in a later version. Oh, you know what? Minecraft always had sponges, right? It wasn't until they put in the Guardians that you could actually get them legitimately in the game. That's right. These have been in the game for a long time. So, wool plus a slime makes an open block one. Dry plain sponge? Let's do this. I don't remember how these work. Let's go find out. Do I have to dry them or do they just, just slurp up water? These are okay, so they just they don't have an internal thing. They're not like gimped like the uh the vanilla ones. These things just constantly remove water from a certain location. Okay. I like it. This is so much better. I will do this. All right, then, Jake, we'll see you later, dude. There's a sponge on a stick. Dude, 
Dude, did it not just say I could do that? I thought it was showing the, um... I thought it showed the stone sticks. Those are nature. Oh, maybe that's what I thought it was. Maybe it has to be actual wood stick. I don't have any wood sticks on me. Dang it. Alright, let's go try this other one. So this one has to go as well, I think. Let's see how this thing works. It would be nice if it placed like a fake block that worked like a sponge that lasted like five seconds or something. So you could like click, 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 and it all go away. Oh, and this thing has a durability? Yeah, this thing's real good, guys. Yeah, I'll, I'll be sure to make that again. Why would they even do that? Like you can have a sponge on a stick but it has a durability or you can just keep using the same sponge over and over and over again. Hmm, which way's better? I wonder. Now, is there a bunch of water in this village? So we got the water and the crops that I can get rid of, and then we have this. I'm gonna run in a circle over and over and over again. we're good here now the only other thing that might have water yeah the well has water try getting a drink now villagers
Yeah, villagers and the doors in this version. Goodness. Okay, I think that pretty much clears out water, surface water, in the way of our quarry. Now, there's still going to be underground water, and that's fine, whatever, but for the most part, our quarry hole shouldn't be that dirty. Okay, you don't, you don't want a dirty quarry hole, trust me. You predict nasty Corio. <laughs> Dude, that is nasty. All right, so what's next on our list of things to do? We got a lot of stuff done today. Oh my goodness. Um, I suppose we can make recipes for this to, uh, to make things automatically, right? So iron chipset. These are things that we need a lot. So we can save one iron and one redstone. Make that. Oh, you know what? I don't want this turned off. I turned that off earlier. If we place that here, we should now be able to auto-craft that. So iron chipset. Let's make 10 of those. Boom. All right, that's pretty awesome. We can get these out of here. That doesn't need to be in here anymore. Oh, yeah, that's a problem. So I need three more redstone. We have to have a separate one specifically for the redstone chipsets. Um, what does it cost for an assembly table? I think that's easy enough for us to do. Ah, we can set up automation for that. The reason you have to do a separate one for the redstone chipset is because the redstone chipset just uses one piece of redstone. And if you have multiple recipes selected that the table can't do and ingredients for multiple recipes, then it'll alternate between one and then the other than one than the other. So like if we put in 10 redstone and 10 iron to make 10 iron chipsets, it's going to end up making five redstone chipsets and five iron chipsets, leaving five iron in the assembly table. And then the auto craft's gonna be like, you never finish this, or I'm still waiting on five more iron chipsets. Yeah, it has to be separate because the redstone only uses regular redstone that's used in like every other circuit. Can't do that. Blocking mode wouldn't work because you put in one recipe and it randomly chooses which ones it's gonna do. And you put in the next recipe and then it like, I think it chooses the other one. I don't think you have to do in two separate ones. Close.
I might end up moving these somewhere. Jelly Bra coming in with a 25 month reset. Welcome back, Jelly Bra. Thank you for the 25 months, dude. Appreciate that. Thanks for dropping your Twitch Prime. Hey, bud, just swinging in to pay my rent and feed Max. Hope all is well in the Hypno household. Everything's great here, dude. Um, do you have any suggestions for what to do with absurd amount of RF per tick? Try and fill a highest tier Draconic Evolution Energy Powerball. Yeah, I think we're going to move those CPUs somewhere. We might move them over here. I guess we could just move them right here for now until we figure it out. Whoops. Okay, that's better. That we can change with another P2P if I continue that running over here. Which we probably should do. Oh, I do need to get that hooked up actually. I need my memory card. Oh, um, memory card. There we go. Now that should work. What's the main goal on this mod? You're talking about this mod pack. The main goal of this mod pack is to make the creative items like the creative. Is a creative chest a part of this? No. Like the creative energy cell, for instance, to do one of those. There's creative fluid tank, creative portable tank. And that requires for those creative energy cells. There's the everlasting guilty mana pool, which requires a lot of stuff and pretty much it's, uh, the goal is to have fun. The goal is to have fun. Is there any way to update any recipes? I mean, you want to change the recipe? I'm sure there's a way to do it. I I might add in the creative chest recipe. That was a community recipe that people had made for, I think, FTV Infinity Evolve Skyblock. And I added it to our Skyblock playthrough as like another recipe. I might find that recipe and add it to this pack. I don't know. We'll see how things go. Having fun in mod packs is banned. Banned, banned, banned. So we're going to need a lot of thermionic fabricators too. Every single recipe is going to need its own thermionic fabricator. So we're going to need one for making all of the different uh, tubes. Well, not all of them. 
all the the most important ones like the lapis tube the blazing the end tube probably golden tube as well like a lot of these are gonna get used like a lot of these other ones you don't need to make those are all from botany all the clear ones and the ender electron tube as well This is a mother trucking game. It's not supposed to be fun. Check your fun at the door. We're playing Minecraft, boys. You just got back into modding. Any reason to do 115 yet? No. There's mod packs for 115 that are just kitchen sink. Kind of like, well, these are the mods that are available, so we made a pack out of it. And you might get like a day or two of entertainment out of it, but there's no real mod packs for it. You're at, you're wondering if there's any reason to make 115 mods? Yes, because eventually that will be the modding platform. It's not there yet. 112.2 is the current like big one, but it's on the way out as soon as one. 15 becomes a thing. Uh, is asked, am I going to play on the Hermitcraft server again? It's possible. One fifteen will be better than one fourteen. I mean, 15 is better than 14. It's one better. We're going to have to start taking these ores and doing stuff with them here pretty soon. Like, I don't think there's any reason to keep the nether ores around, right? Pretty sure there's no reason for that. I was just about to ask, where are my drives over here? We haven't even touched this one yet. So nether tin ore, the use is on that. You smelt it to redstone furnace, pulverize. I am not sure what the best way to do that. I guess just macerate them. That's not actually ideal. I think the pulverizer probably would be better. So if I remember right, the pulverizer turns those into actual ores. Actually, I thought the mastery would turn them into ores. I'm not sure. Yeah, that turns it into ores. Did we get any weird ores from that? I'm not actually sure. Uh, Gams with 100 bits, thank you for the 100. I'm kind of at a point right now where I'm trying to decide what I want to do next. So I'm like, doing things that don't really matter. I don't know what I want to do next. That's that's the hard question right now. How are we doing on our fuel over here? We have 12 spent fuel rods from the day. We still have 101 remaining. It's probably going to make sense for us to like upgrade that here pretty soon. 
we have 186 more uranium to process, that's probably something we should do. I think our Tesseract, we should be able to get more power than this. Let me try and do something here. Hold my beer. We're trying something. We don't have any refined iron? Iron and coal dust. Find iron, that goes into our induction smelter. And now if we tell it to make a hundred, that's gonna take a, 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 I was gonna say a while and a minute at the same time. That's gonna take a minute for that to finish up, but we are definitely gonna need all that and our induction smelter doesn't go super fast. So it's definitely a thing that we need. Um, crafting all the lasers. Yeah. I mean, eventually we're going to set up like a max laser setup here. So like things can go much faster. We're not even, this isn't even a quarter of the amount of lasers that you can set up for this thing. Like you can get pretty ridiculous, but we're not quite there yet. Um, oh yeah. We still got more of the... Uranium to process here. Oh, he switched. Right. Because I was going to do this. We need the refined iron to do that. Now I remember. So what I wanted to see is can we do... Can we do that to give it extra power? Mmm, it looks like it's getting more power. I'd like to try another one. Oh, I didn't grab, I grabbed the wrong thing. I mean, really. I don't know if that works. I'm not sure that's working. If I want to say like, I feel like that's working, 
And it might just be we don't have enough power to split between doing what we're doing here and our quarry. That might be the problem. We'll probably upgrade that. Oh, we don't have the, um... We don't have the transformer upgrades in those. I think we saw that we didn't really need them. But yeah, what we really need to do is make it like an MFSU. We'll worry about that next time, I think. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. I'm struggling with wanting to do anything else today, unfortunately. We got a lot of stuff done today. We got our machines moved, we got a new machine room, we got auto crafting up and running. We moved our quarry to like a bigger area. We got resources coming in. We got lots of stuff going on. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me for today. Uh, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the follow button so you get notified when I go live. We do stream Monday through Friday, starting at around 2 p.m. Eastern time. If you want to see some more of this mod pack, we'll probably be back tomorrow. Probably. We'll be back tomorrow with another live stream of this mod pack. So yeah, you can check that out if you want to. We're going to go ahead and send a raid over to Wells Knight. See what he's up to today. Um, but yeah, that's it. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.